what is Internet TV. New technology can change the way we receive news and entertainment, though. Radio challenged newspapers in the early 1900s, and television challenged radio. Now, it looks as though traditional television has its own competitor, but it's not one that's easily separated from television. It even has television in its name. It's what we are now calling Internet TV. Internet TV, in simple terms, is video and audio delivered over an Internet connection. It's also known as Internet Protocol Television, or IPTV. You can watch Internet TV on a computer screen, a television screen, through a set-top box, or a mobile device like a cell phone or an iPod. It's almost the same as getting television through an antenna or a series of cable wires, the difference is that information is sent over the Internet as data. At the same time, you can find even more variety on Internet TV than cable TV. Along with many of the same shows you find on the big networks, many websites offer independently produced programs targeted toward people with specific interests. If you wanted to watch a show on vegetarian cooking, for example, you could probably find it more easily over the internet than on regular TV. Because many sites offer on-demand services, you don't have to keep track of scheduling. For sites using webcasting or real-time streaming video, though, live broadcasting is still an option. In this focus, we'll go over the basics of internet TV and talk about some of the current options for finding and watching it. Content provider examples include an independent service such as Netflix or Amazon Video, Hotstar, Google Play Movies, Mitf, Arabic, Sling TV, Sony Live, Vista, or Kello. A service owned by a traditional terrestrial, cable, or satellite provider. A service owned by a traditional film or television network, television channel, or content conglomerate, such as BBC3 since the 17th of January 2016, CBSN, Congo, HBO Now, Now TV. UK, owned by Sky, PlayStation Vu, owned by Sony, or Hulu, a joint venture. A peer-to-peer -peer video hosting service such as YouTube, Vimeo, or Crunchyroll. Combination services like TVL which combines a Brazilian internet-only TV station with user-uploaded content, or Crackle, which combines content owned by Sony Pictures with user-uploaded content. Audio-only services like Spotify, though not internet television per se, are sometimes accessible through video-capable devices in the same way. Receiver The receiver must have an internet connection, typically by Wi-Fi or Ethernet, and could be a web browser running on a personal computer, typically controlled by mouse and keyboard, or mobile device, such as Firefox, Google Chrome, or Internet Explorer. A mobile app running on a smartphone or tablet computer A dedicated digital media player, typically with remote control. These can take the form of a small box, or even a stick that plugs directly into an HDMI port. Examples include Roku, Amazon Fire, Apple TV, Google TV, Boxy, and WDTV. Sometimes these boxes allow streaming of content from the local network or storage drive, typically providing an indirect connection between a television and computer or USB stick. A Smate TV which has internet capability and built-in software accessed with the remote control. A video game console connected to the internet such as the Xbox One and PS4. A DVD player or Blu-ray disc player with internet capabilities in addition to its primary function of playing content from physical discs. A set-top box or digital video recorder, DVR, provided by the cable or satellite company or an independent party like TiVo which has internet capabilities in addition to its primary function of receiving and recording programming from the non-internet cable are trying to download the same file, though, the transfer can be much slower. In this analogy, bandwidth is the number of lanes on the highway. Conclusion Although internet TV promises quite a lot, the concept doesn't come without criticism. Users with slow internet connections may have difficulty getting data fast enough. Many complain that the video quality pales in comparison to HDTV screens, and websites have difficulty providing sufficient bandwidth. Peer-to-peer -peer software may offer a possible solution, since it spreads out the amount of available information across lots of computers instead of putting all the pressure on one server. Internet TV could eventually change the way we get our news and entertainment. 
people who are enthusiastic and knowledgeable about certain subjects but don't have a contract with a major network can produce their own shows if they have the right technology. Like and share this video and for more news and updates subscribe to our YouTube channel.